what I did is I turned this low needle by two minutes, which isn't very much. If that was a clock, I'm going counterclockwise back two minutes. So if you ever have issues where it'll crank, but when you give it throttle, it dies, that may, that's the first place to start. So you don't want to turn this high needle because it'll invalidate the warranty, but this bottom one you can adjust because you're going to have to because of altitude, things like that. Um, but you would turn it clockwise to close it out. And so manufacturer says it's supposed to be a quarter to a third of a full turn. So that's where you're going to tune it in between those settings. So I never did close mine out. I just took mine just to start, the start position, or the position it was already in from the factory settings, and I just turned it two minutes counterclockwise. And then that, I mean, that was it. That's all it needed.